What's up guys, it's Brian again from Lake Acre Scooby and Marina. If you are new to our channel, do me a huge favor. Click this little subscribe button right here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now in today's video, we're going to be talking about air integrated computers and running multiple transmitters in a side mount configuration. If you're not familiar with side mount, in short, side mounts where you're running one or two bottles on your sides, obviously, and they're independent systems. So I got independent first stages, second stages, and even pressure gauges to read both bottles. Now, if you're used to diving with, say, an air integrated computer, you understand that you're going to have a transmitter that's going to send a signal, say, from your first stage all the way to your wrist mounted computer, and it's going to tell you how much air pressure you have. Well, in a case in side mount, you're going to actually have to have two transmitters. So you'd simply replace the pressure gauges with transmitters, and then that's going to send two signals to your computer. Well, most modern day computers, although they can receive multiple transmitters, they can't really do it at the same partial pressure of O2. So if you're running, say, a 32% blend and an air blend at 21%, it would read that because it's going to read two different partial pressure of gases. But a typical recreational computer will not read two 21% mixes. The only way to really do it is you're going to set one transmitter up, say, on 21% air, you would set the other transmitter up on 21% nitrox, and that's about the only way that you can do it. Well, there are several tech-based computers out there that will allow you to run two identical blends or partial pressures of O2 and still stay in air mode. The Marius Genius happens to be one of those computers, and that's happened to be what my dad is using currently, and now that he has switched over to side mount, he is a decided that he didn't like the pressure gauges, he wanted two transmitters so that he could have an air integrated computer that would read two 21% blends in the case that he's diving air on side mount. So in today's video, we're going to actually look at his system and I'm going to show you how he sets his computer up and what he actually does underwater and how simple it is to change gas underwater without having to go through a bunch of stuff. So we're going to show you the pairing process, we're going to show you his pre-dive check, and we're going to actually show you him switching gas, even though it's going to be the same gas, he's switching bottles, if you will, underwater and how simple it is to do with the Mares Genius computer. So my dad's here, he's actually going to walk you through how to pair both um, transmitters to your computer. First thing you're going to do is turn on the Genius and go over to Dive Set. And then you're going to go down to Gas Integration. Now once you're in Gas Integration, don't go to Pair Devices immediately. Go down to Tank Volume and you want to set the computer up so that you can get your right SAC rate and RMV rate by setting up both tanks. So here you can see gas one and two is both at 80 cubic feet and then he's going to go back up to pair devices. So always make sure you get the right cylinder sizes. For gas one you can see that it's not paired. All you've got to do is actually just turn on the cylinder, give it a second, and then you can select gas one and it's going to send a signal from the transmitter into the computer system and it's going to pair that system up might take about five to ten seconds here but once it paired it will say pairing successful and then you can switch over to gas tube now to keep the confusion down you want to make sure that you turn that cylinder off and he's going to go ahead and bleed it down that way there's not two signals being sent at the same time during the pairing process now he's going to go over to the second one and he's going to do the exact same thing he's going to go over to gas two he's going to turn on the cylinder and he is going to select that cylinder as well on the computer and it will pair the process or pair successfully just like it did on the other one. Now don't pay too close attention to the tanks that he's using or the reg sets. We just threw two sets of regs on there with transmitters just to show you that it, it does work. Once that is completed then he is going to switch back over into his dive mode and we will verify that both cylinders are active. And so we're going to give it just a second here, we'll turn both cylinders on, and you should see the pressures jump. So he can see that the cylinder, cylinder number two there is at 2901, that's 2901 PSI. And then cylinder one should kick on here in just a second, and there you can see that it's at 2805 PSI. So both cylinders are connected, and you can utilize this if you're switching back and forth. The next thing that he is going to do is he's going to simulate a gas switch and verify that both uh, cylinders are reading. So he's going to go ahead and switch back over to dive mode. You can see gas one is at 21%. That just means he's breathing standard air and it's at 2,799 PSI. And then he's going to make a switch. He's going to switch over to a second cylinder. And you can see gas two is at 21%. 
and that's at 2901 psi so as you can see it's a very simple setup and very easy to use let's take it in water and let's see how it works there all right so here you can see dad's just making sure both of the cylinders are turned on and he's going to go ahead and check the pressure in each cylinder by simply switching over between gas one and gas two or bottle one and of course bottle two and then we're going to show you this again once we get underwater as well so one of the reasons that my dad chose to use the air integrated computer and to dive with two different transmitters is for simplicity for him so he has uh, two back mount systems and he has a side mount system um, as far as me to where i have about 10 different rigs it was difficult for me to justify purchasing that many transmitters um, just to be able to swap gas back and forth so i still use the analog system to where dad's using this system and i want you to watch throughout this dive it's really not any more difficult than with an analog system where i'm looking at a system or looking at a gauge determining that it's time to switch to a different bottle or a different gas and then i simply switch over and verify the same thing's going to apply to him when he does these gas switches. Basically, all he is going to do is verify what he's breathing off of and that it's time to switch. He is going to make his switch, verify that that cylinder obviously has enough pressure, and then he's going to change it on his computer. Now, the cool thing about the Genius, it will actually show both pressures of both tanks. And I'll show you a little bit later in this video what that actually looks like on a profile once you download your dives to a computer. All right, so now he's going to go ahead and actually show you a gas switch. He's just saying, hey, I'm going to change gas here. He's verifying which one he's breathing off of, which one he's going to switch to. He's going to go ahead and change cylinders. He's going to secure his second stage, and then he's going to make his switch in the computer itself. And from the time he goes to do a switch, you can see it's really no different in time-wise um, than if you just had an analog system. It's actually probably a little bit quicker. Uh, we're going to take another quick look uh, and see just how uh, easy it is. And we'll do it from a different perspective or different angle here. But watch, he switches gas, real simple. And it even says gas switch OK. So you have that verification uh, that everything is OK. So I want to show you a quick profile real quick. This is the last dive Dad made using this system. And there are several things that I want you to see here. The blue line that you see here, that's the actual profile. So this is Dad making his descent, messing around a little bit at the bottom, and then coming back up. So everything you see on the blue line is his actual profile. The line that is directly above that, these are his gas switches. So as he's going down and up, down and up, you'll see that he's actually making gas switches there. So there was his first gas switch here, and then he's going to go on down and make a secondary gas switch. And you'll notice as, as he makes those gas switches, if we choose one here and just click on it, you'll notice the pressure changes. So there it's reading a pressure of 2095. Uh, That's 2095 PSI. Um, and it'll, it'll tell you a lot of different information. If we go over to another section, you'll see that he's at 1865 PSI here. But if you really pay attention to this, you'll see that his sac rate and his RMV rates actually recording as well. So here he's got a 0.57 um, RMV rate. And that's the cool thing about integrated computers like this is it's gonna record the information and there's no more doing the math on paper because the computer's doing all the math for you. It just makes your dive a whole lot safer and a whole lot more simpler as well. But I just wanted you guys to see this real quick to see how an air integrated computer integrates into your computer system and all that it records as well. All right, guys, before we end this video out, I want to show you something really neat real quick. These two cylinders here, this is my personal side mount reg system that I'm using now. And these are the ones you just saw my father use. And what I want you to focus on, if I kind of zoom out a little bit, notice where my pressure gauges are right there and right there. And then you'll see his transmitters are kind of in the same place. So one of the cool things about this is all that you really have to do is you don't even have to remove the hoses for your pressure gauge. You just simply take off the pressure gauge and screw in your transmitter. Now, if you want it a little bit more secure, maybe you don't want it out here flopping around, you can actually use your bands here to go over the top of your transmitter to actually hold them in place. And that's going to be a good secure method. One of the things that you probably noticed in the video is when we were testing out these transmitters, we actually had them coming out of the, the high pressure port on top of the first stages 
versus coming down towards the bottom. So that's something you can play along with and see what works for you. We have come to determine that having them on these little six inch hoses, just like we do our pressure gauges, is gonna work very good for him. And like I said, if you don't want them flopping around, all you gotta do is take your straps here and you can secure them up underneath a strap like that. And all that's gonna do is just help protect them and keep them from flopping around as well. And when you do your gas switches, you're not gonna to have to reach down, pick up your gauge, look at it like I do. All you do is simply look at your dive computer and off you go. So as you can see guys, dad didn't have any trouble whatsoever using two different transmitters with his Marius Genius in a side mount situation. Um, and if you've got any hesitations about using air integrated computers, let me kind of leave you with this. Back when I first started diving, air integrated computers were kind of a no-no. They were very dangerous. We didn't really know how long the batteries would last in them. And we, to be frankly with you, we didn't have any battery indicators on them. So no one really trusted them. Well nowadays, air integrated computers are extremely safe to use. They make your diving a whole lot more enjoyable and a whole lot simpler to do as well. If you have difficulty calculating your SAC rate or your RMV rate by using an air integrated computer, it makes that process a lot simpler when you go to download your dives. It will give you every bit of information you need. You can actually download charts and see exactly when your breathing rate changed underwater. Maybe you were fighting a current, maybe you was getting chased by a shark. Whatever the reason may be, that air integrated computer, once it's downloaded, will allow you to critique your dive and become that much better of a diver. Now, I do want to state this as well, because I know somebody's going to say, but Brian, if you advocate using air integrated computers, why do you choose not to? And as stated earlier in the video, because of what I do for a living, I have about 10 different sets of gear that each day I'm randomly taking off the shelf and going and diving with. And it's not really financially responsible for me to go out and purchase 10 different transmitters. But even though I don't use air integrated computers in that fashion, I am a big supporter of the transmitters and air integrated computers because I think they make you a lot safer and they make your dives a lot more enjoyable. So guys, let me know down in the comment section below what you think about this video. Do you think that you should be using transmitters on side mount? or should you stick with the analog gauges? And let me know what you think about the Marius Genius. It's still not a relatively new computer. It's been around for several years now, but every customer that we sold one to has been extremely pleased with it. They're both a tech and a recreational computer, and they are very, very simple to use. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a big thumbs up. Definitely share it as well. As always, make sure you follow us on Instagram and Twitter, like us on Facebook, pin us on Pinterest, subscribe to us here on YouTube. And as always, guys, we appreciate your business.